Hey, what's up, guys? It's Q Ill、um, here with a tutorial on how to make your own custom trucker hat. I made this one for my girlfriend, and、um, yeah, so I'll play the video and kind of do a voiceover guide. So let's begin. Okay, here I am.、Uh, I got some acrylic, just some white acrylic or black acrylic, whatever your background is. And I taped off the areas that I'm gonna paint.、Um, I chose to paint the bottom of the bill and the top of the bill, as well as the center portion of the trucker hat area. Most blank trucker hats come with a、uh, cardboard backing. You'll want to leave that on. And I use a heat gun to kind of help me speed up the process and multiple layers of paint. Um, here I am. I'm sketching my ideas for my letters out.、Um, I have a few, you know, images that I've collected, like that image of the rose that I wanted to、uh, kind of use to accentuate my graffiti piece. So I blocked it in with a lighter color, and I'm coloring it in、um, with the base color or the mid tone. I usually use three tones: the highlight. Midtone and the shadow, so you can see I blocked it out with hot pink. I filled it in with red, and then I have a dark red, almost burgundy, for the shadows. And just to be、uh, clear on the usage of、um, hot gun,、uh, hot air guns, or、uh, air dryers, you want to be careful that you don't overly heat it up because then your paint will start to crack. So here, I decided that I want to change the outline color of my letters. So I went over the blue with、uh, hot pink because I thought that would contrast well with the black. I filled in the letters with black paint.、Um, even though it might be the same color as my hat, you want to make sure you still paint over it so that the letters look uniform and the texture and shade are still uniform among your. Uh, letters, whether it's the white portion on the top or the black portion on the bill.、Uh, here, I outlined it with my drop shadow, and I started the design on the bottom of the bill.、Um, I like it when hats have designs on the bottom of the bill as well, because it kind of makes、uh, it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more custom, and I feel like it's kind of boring if you just do the top face. So it's a little something that you guys might want to do. Just to give your customer or whoever your client something special, so I laid it 3D down, and、uh, there's some areas that the black lettering、um, showed through still. So a little trick I do, especially when you're trying to color with lighter colors, is、uh, erase the black with、uh, white first. That way you get the same base coat color, and then you color over it with the pink again in this instance. So that、uh, it will match instead of trying to just go directly over the black with the pink because sometimes it won't、uh, it won't cover it up all the way and you'll end up with、uh, some lines showing through which you don't want.、Um, the key to getting crispy lines really is to be patient and let it dry, and also、um, making sure that your lighter colors don't pick up your darker colors. If you see, I have a lot of scratch paper underneath. It's so that I can scratch out the marker whenever, like, some black or other colors kind of、um, bleed into my lighter colors. So basically, what I do is、uh, I scratch it out on the paper so that I get a pure pink in this case, and then I go back to work after the surface is dry. That way, I can get really good coverage.、Um, yeah. So here, I'm just working out the final details. Make sure that you guys take your time and get it absolutely perfect. You don't have to do it all in one day. Some people are good at coming back to projects, you know, the next day. I myself personally, I like to do it all in one sitting because I get lazy really quickly.、Um, but make sure you take your time, do it right because if you clear coat it and you don't like something on it, then it's kind of a pain to go back and redo it. It's better to get it done in one shot that way. You can preserve everything exactly how you like it, <clears throat> and you don't want to have regrets when you're doing a piece, especially for a client that you could have done something better because it's gonna bother you. So here I am.、Um, I thought the background was a little bit too plain, so to follow along with my rose theme, I kind of added some vines. Again, I decided on、um, 
using some green to kind of make the background pop. Um, I used three shades again, a dark green, uh, a really, really light green, and a middle green, um, just to give it some dimension. I, I used all Molotov uh, One For All markers. Uh, they're great. Um, I like them because you can buy refills for them, and uh, they are very opaque and also flat, matte, matte sheen, so they cover really well. Um, so here I am going through the final details, making sure that I get every um, part of the letter and every part of the background covered. <clears throat> that way, uh, when I do do the clear coat, it's not going to be missing some parts. And it's not going to be missing the details that I, I should have added. So I'm making sure to take my time, making sure to make everything pop out and clean and totally refine the way that I want it to because uh, I don't want to make a mistake later of uh, clear coating it and regretting that I didn't touch up this one part. So make sure that you're adding all the details piece by piece and that you're not missing out in certain areas. Uh, there I go, add my tag, and now I'm kind of doing my design on the on the bottom of the bill, making sure that I'm not uh, coloring on the actual fabric portion of the, uh, I guess you can call it the sweatband area. As you can see, I have it taped off really well with uh, painter's tape. So um, basically when you're coloring these areas, make sure that... Um, you kind of keep an eye out on what colors you're using next because if you decide that you want to use a lighter color over a darker color like I said you should make sure that you have enough room in your detail to go over with white first and then go over with the color so you see in this pattern the red and pink would stand out as the lighter colors so I have to make sure that those areas are kind of primed with white first Otherwise, they're not going to show up as opaque as the black and the purple and the blue and other darker colors that I use. So just make sure that you kind of plan out the colors in your mind. Um, it's not a bad idea to kind of cheat using Photoshop and get, get your idea of colors that you want to see next to each other without actually painting anything. That way you save your material and you kind of get a rough idea of uh, what you like. So I had a little bit of bleed through on the top and bottom of my bill and the sweatband area. So I just used my black marker and I made a clean line um, surrounding that area so that you know the design is really contained and sharp and crisp and clean. And I'm just adding some final little touch up details and making sure that everything's dry with the uh, heat gun. And uh, yeah, just getting everything polished and neat and nice and really trying to get everything perfect because like I said this time my client is my girlfriend so I wanted everything to be perfect um, and yeah I think this is pretty much uh, the final piece right here I added a brush on clear coat in matte afterwards I added about four layers just to make sure that it doesn't get damaged and it's a UV protectant um, you can get clear coat from Dick Blick or Utrick, any art store. They sell it acrylic, crystal clear. Um, you can get it in matte and gloss, and you could even mix the two to get your specific type of sheen. And uh, here, my girlfriend will model it for you. I took some photographs so you can see it in uh, different light and uh, the finished product. And you can see it in different angles. Um... Yeah, so photos should be coming up very soon. I tried to show it as best as I could, but since I couldn't see what I was showing on screen, uh, here are some pictures. Um, it looks a lot more vibrant in person, but this is in full sunlight, plus I used uh, some studio lights to <clears throat> really get the background to wash out. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I know it's kind of boring without any music but I figured that if I gave you a step by step and you saw everything was good and she was happy with the hat then maybe you guys will learn a little something and you guys can do this project on your own uh, please leave me feedback thumbs up, rate, favorite all that stuff, leave me comments and uh, I'll try to get more tutorials out to you guys soon, peace out